All right, I am back uh, with a new kind of video on camera for the first time in a long time. Uh, I am starting a series, I think, called Gamer Dad or Dad Gaming or something um, on this channel. Uh, now that I am slipping into my new role as a parent, um, Noah just turned a week old yesterday. Uh, that is my son. He is very cute. Uh, I posted a couple photos of him on Twitter. He'll be in some videos at some point, but he's napping at the moment. And I don't want to use him as like a object prop right now. Um, this is going to be something that's just sort of how I'm uh, kind of... It's not going to be like really general parenthood stuff, but it, I'm going to try and relate it to uh, how parenting fits in with gaming and my, my work schedule and uh, things like that. And just kind of lessons I'm learning along the way here. I realize this is pretty far outside my normal here, but uh, it's my channel. I can do what I want. So <laughs> um, I realize this will not, you know, be for everyone. Uh, and feel free to skip this and just watch Destiny videos and stuff. But um, I'm also kind of soliciting advice from people who are parents already and are big into gaming and like how they kind of balance things. Um, so it's it's been uh, <laughs> an eventful, very fun um, week, very tiring. Uh, it's, it's not necessarily that, like, I don't even know if the, if lack of sleep is the biggest issue. He's actually, like, pretty pretty okay. Um, he can sleep for, like, three to four hour stretches at night already after a week, which is pretty good. So we wake up at, you know, 2 or 3 a.m. and feed him and change him and stuff. But um, during the day, it's like, did you ever see that Battlestar Galactica episode where, like, every 43 minutes they have to jump because the Cylons keep finding them, and, like, no matter what, like, they have to keep jumping and keep jumping, and, like, they're all about to, like, die of exhaustion. Um, that's kind of how it feels like with feeding and changing. Like, just when you think you're all done and settles, you either have to feed him or change him, or sometimes you have to swaddle him or, or walk him around or something like that and uh, calm him down, which, of course, is very rewarding, but it's also, like, <laughs> very time-consuming. Um, and so it's been, uh, an adjustment as you may have been able to see, I'm back to like normal work schedule, which after, I don't know if I took, I took like four days off or something, but I'm writing five posts a day, trying to do a video a day and then, uh, figuring out a way to also play the games I need to play and, uh, watch the shows I need to watch for work. Um, I am quickly learning a lot of different lessons here in regard to gaming with a, a newborn in particular, uh, Games you can pause. Really, really like those now. <laughs> um, I have been... Uh, the main game I've been playing right now is Wonderlands, where uh, it is technically an online game. It is so online that the cloud saves uh, erased a bunch of my hours played <laughs> the other day, which was exhausting. Um, but that is a game you can just pause at any time, and you will need to pause at any time. Uh, I, I'm assuming for the indefinite future <laughs> of having a young child, but... Uh, especially in the newborn phase, if he's, if he's fussing or you have to go help with something or things like that. Um, and so that has been kind of a godsend. I have, like, really, really struggled to try and figure out how to play a game like Destiny right now. Because, like, if you're playing solo, like, you can hide yourself in a corner or whatever. But if you're playing a Strike or Crucible or something, you can't just go AFK for more than a few minutes because you'll get booted. Um you know, I already was having trouble finding time to run raids and things uh, as is, so that would have to be something that is like really, really scheduled out uh, in advance at this point. But honestly, I'm I, it's going to be hard to like even consider doing that for the foreseeable future uh, until I kind of get a handle on this. Um, I'm already finding that like I'm just going to need to like deprioritize some maybe unnecessary things or unnecessary grinds that I literally just don't have time for now. Like you know, old old me may have been like, oh yeah, I really got to grind out this catalyst or I really got to get this weapon to level 20 and just like mindlessly run, you know, X or Y thing on, on repeat until I got there. But now I feel like I kind of have to strip down to the essentials more, at least for the time being, um, and kind of just focus on the kinds of things I need to do to keep up in the game for work. Like, obviously this is kind of a good time for Destiny because... Uh, we're pretty much, I mean, I, we've done most everything in The Witch Queen. We are done with uh, the seasonal story content for the most part. And so pretty much the rest of the season is just Guardian games, which, I mean, I, <laughs> how much am I going to have to do for that? I'll earn whatever you need to earn is like the main prize of that, whatever that's going to be. But besides that, uh, I don't expect to be putting too much time into that. Um, 
have like I have wanted to start Elden Ring. I didn't start Elden Ring before Noah was born because I knew it would be you know kind of uh, uh, interrupted by that. And now I, that is also not a game you can pause. I don't think because that kind of defeats the <laughs> difficulty purpose of it. So um, that seems like that's going to be something that has to be put on pause uh, for later. Uh, my wife is home for maternity leave, but she also needs to to recover, and so I need to do um, as much as I can to help her. So that is kind of um, my main priority at the moment. But I also, I need to keep working because I don't have paid time off. Like if I don't write, I don't get paid. Essentially, if I don't do YouTube, I don't get paid. Uh, That is the content creator freelance economy. And that's just kind of how it is. Um, That has been, it's been tough because like, I think people know me as someone who just produces an insane amount of content. And then now doing that on top of also, uh, you know, at least trying to help care for my newborn son is is proving to be a lot but i'm i'm just trying to learn how to kind of get uh, a handle on it um i do obviously think this is going to come with an overall reduction in gaming time Uh, things will probably change a little bit in the future when my wife comes off maternity leave and we are going to uh, have daycare and things like that and so i will have a more kind of blocked out work day which can include writing and video filming and, and gaming and stuff um for now when uh so when I'm when I'm holding him, it's like I can't <laughs> I can't play PC games or console games right now. Like I need one of those like I guess like a chest strap thing or something if I'm going to do that at the same time. Uh, so I've um, what you can do is you can really catch up on a lot of TV shows because newborns are asleep for a huge portion of the day and um, they're just going to be snoozing a lot in between uh, you know feedings and changings and things. So you can catch up on a lot of sh- shows and things, but it is a little harder to. Uh, do gaming in a way where, especially if you're you're holding him, it's a little it's a little more challenging, and you kind of have to work around that. Though I've seen all the photos of people like <laughs> with the controller with the baby like laying on their chest and stuff, so I I know it's doable. Um, it's just it's really a learning process, and some of the <laughs> you you know you think you know what you're getting into because the movies and stuff. Some stuff is like the movies. Like right before we started filming this, uh, Noah had his first like projectile explosive poop as we were changing him. Uh, which is something that happens in real life for sure, not just, you know, on TV. Um, a hilarious comedy of, of, of errors here. Uh, and so, like, you you just have to kind of prepare yourself for um, interruptions like that, and it's just, it's just going to kind of fundamentally change the way you operate. And, you know, I, we're, we're very fortunate. He's extremely healthy. He is no really major issues that we can see with with feeding or sleeping. He's just, he's a good kid. He's very, um, (laughs) very soft and cuddly and just, I don't know. I mean, he's a newborn. That's true of most newborns, but uh, we've also, I mean, we're just very, very fortunate that he's uh, kind of as perfect as he is. And um, I, my, my whole life I've been, you know, I I was raised an only child and, uh, then, you know, I got married and then I got a dog and I have a kid. And so it's kind of this evolving process of trying to figure out, um, how my, how my life kind of operates. And like, I've been doing this job essentially for, it's going to be almost 12 years now, I think, and working from home the entire time. And, uh, it is, it's just kind of a matter of adjusting and making sure my priorities are straight, but also I need to kind of maintain both my online presence and my online production output for work. Uh, in terms of having money to support my family and things. So um, that is a a, uh, a challenging balance that I'm going to be figuring out for weeks, if not months, if not years. <laughs> um, I know for some people, this is like the easy phase where, you know, the newborn sleeps all the time. And uh, in the future, in this segment, I might kind of talk about, you know, what it means to, uh, you know, share gaming with your kids. And like when, you know, I, I don't know the answers to any of this stuff. Uh, like, you know, when did you start gaming with your kids? What games do you start with? Like what, you know, what, what are your screen time allowances or, or what do you think about that? Like that is, that's is stuff I'm kind of curious to hear from people because I know everyone has their different opinions. Um, it's very weird to kind of think about being a, a quote unquote, like gamer dad, because, you know, when I grew up, I had very traditional parents where like my dad worked for Ford Motor Company for 30 years and had like a, you know, nine to five job, if not like it's more like seven to six, honestly. Uh, and like, you know, I grew up playing video games, but I wasn't, you know, gaming with my dad or something like that. And that's not something his generation is into for the most part, as you might uh, be able to expect, or at least 
that generation really wasn't into it back when I was an infant. <laughs> um, so it's just, it's I like, it's, it's a new era. And like, I realize that this is just sort of the mainstream now, like the vast majority of adults are gamers at this point, And the average age of a gamer is my age, I think pretty much exactly. So it's, this is just sort of how kind of life works now. And it's like, even the classification of gamers like doesn't even make sense. Like gaming is just like something that exists, like TV or movies exist. Like no one is a TV watcher or a movie movie goer. It's just like part of entertainment now. Uh, I'm in a little different of a category because I'm doing this for work. So that is like, I have to prioritize some things or, you know, in some way or another. I am concerned about some times where like I get a game in embargo and like I have to play for 12 hours a day in order to hit the deadline. Like, don't know if I'm going to be able to do that anymore. Maybe not. Uh, but those are the kinds of things where I, I'm fortunate where I'm in a position where I can sort of make my own rules to a certain extent. And like, I'm not super bound by ultra strict deadlines from editors and things. And like, I'm, I'm allowed to kind of pay my own way in that regard. And I know uh, it's a lot tougher for some other people in the industry. So I am grateful for the flexibility that my job does allow. It's just that I've kind of set myself up as this uber, uber content creator and then if I'm producing X percent less content, I am probably going to get paid X less percent, which is not ideal uh, when you're having a newborn. So uh, those are just sort of my initial dad gamer thoughts here. And um, I don't know, let me know what you think of this segment. And if you have any advice for me early on here, I would welcome all, all comers in the comments, not saying I will necessarily take all of it, but I, I appreciate hearing from everyone. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.